gentleman's recognized for four minutes. Madam Speaker, as the father of an elementary school child, I am devastated every time we have a school shooting. That's why identifying solutions to stop these tragedies is so important to me. There are only two significant gun safety bills to recently pass Congress. Both were Republican bills passed by a Republican majority and signed by a Republican president. The Democrats' mantra has been do something, but my Republican colleagues and I know that the American people expect us to do something that matters. That's why I introduced H.R. 7966, the Stop Two, Secure Every School and Protect Our Nation's Children Act. It builds on the Stop School Violence Act, signed into law in 2018, and redirects unused COVID-19 funding to provide $1 billion to hire school resource officers. It provides $1 billion to hire mental health guidance counselors. Our guidance counselors are wonderful, caring people who are stretched too thin. They may not always have the time they need to reach all the children who need help. $5 billion is included to fund stop school violence programs that harden schools, expand active shooter training, and provide resources for law enforcement, school officials, and students to intervene before someone reaches a breaking point. Under my legislation, schools can also apply for threat assessment to identify weaknesses in security and in mental health services. A clearinghouse is also codified under Homeland Security to share best practices for school safety. My Stop School Act is one of 12 bills that House Republicans are bringing forward that actually solve problems and actually save lives, all without threatening the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens. Look, if gun control worked, Chicago would be one of the safest cities in America. But my colleagues across the aisle have so far refused to work with us where there's common ground on this issue. They and the media know the bills we're considering today have no chance of becoming law. But I ask my colleagues across the aisle to set aside this partisan agenda. Instead, help me to harden schools. Help me to intervene with students in mental health crisis before they reach a breaking point. I mean, imagine the impact if we had intervened and gotten the help that this young man in Uvalde needed before he dropped out of high school. Help me protect our children and teachers and make sure tragedies like this never happen again. Madam Speaker, if we adopt the motion to recommit, we will instruct the Committee on the Judiciary to consider my amendment to H.R. 7910 to provide needed resources to schools for safety and security and mental health intervention and counseling. I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of the amendment in the record immediately prior to the vote on the motion to recommit. That objection. Thank you. I yield back the balance of my time.